Hi everyone, Justin from Mobile here. We're a mobile paintball company in the Tampa Bay area looking to help grow paintball. And today I'm here with a couple of great guns, an Air Guns Design Mini Mag and a War Games Products STO Autococker. This mag is very clean, purple and chrome with black accents. This works with a blow forward system and is the godfather of today's popular spool valve markers. The hopper on this auto mag is from Extreme Rage and while it has three feed settings it is constantly running when it's on since it has no sensor mechanism. Going up against this mag is an O2 STO cocker, black and chrome, completely stock besides the ASA but has some sharp milling on the body. Auto cockers use a closed bolt system and function by firing the ball then cocking the bolt. These guns have had a resurgence in recent years and can be bought today brand new. Feeding the cocker is a ricochet hopper which has selectable modes, timers and eyes and was a great hopper in the early 2000s and functions as well today. Both will use a 26 cubic inch 3000 psi first strike tank which I use with my 50 cal rentals. And over here you can take a quick look at the retro gear bag I have, the matching reds pack and tank cover. Complete JT, Flex IZE, not wearing that today because the lenses are pretty beat up and it's difficult to see clearly. Right here we have a treat I picked up from my buddy when I got his ANS Cocker which I'll preview for you at the end of the video. But he had paint sitting in his closet for almost 20 years. Everyone always says don't shoot old paint so of course I had to do it. This stuff was pretty gross and it took a while to get out but I was able to do one almost fully intact and if nothing else I can say old paint is messy. You'll see once it's out how form to the pot it got and obviously there's nothing symmetrical about these balls. Everything is a mess but let's go shoot these guys and see which ones can win the day. First we'll do a few hundred rounds of new mid-tier paint through each so you can see their basic operation and any obvious user errors. We'll start with the mag, but as you'll see I got a little trigger happy after the first round and may have led to some short stroking on the cocker, which admittedly could also be timed better. In my judgment they're both very accurate, though the cocker always needs a perfect paint barrel match for best results. And they're both smooth for their ages and fun in their own ways. If you're a tinkerer, you'll love auto cockers, but auto mags take it on simplicity. The mag also makes the bad paint shoot while the cocker struggled for anything without manual assistance. Check it out and decide for yourself.
this far check out the guns I have in rehab right now my DLX Lux and the ANS Autococker thanks for watching and check out mobile at mobileevents.com mobile events on Facebook and mobilers on Instagram look out for more videos coming your way and we hope to see you out on the paintball field